Hey guys, this is Farouk and today's video is about budgeting for your next travel trip. First thing about budgeting for your next trip is actually figuring out how much it's going to cost you. So you actually have to look into the costs involved. So example, let's say you want to go to a specific country, you need to figure out what the cost of the flights are, how much accommodation is going to be, uh, food costs, transport, you need to take into account all the different expenses involved. The first part of this, setting a target for yourself. Once you have an exact amount, then you can actually calculate your budget. So the first point is being financially responsible. Every little thing starts to add up. So example, with me, I'm buying coffee every single day, right? <laughs> it costs about five bucks a day. So that's one right there, that's five dollars. You got another one, it's five dollars. That's another one right there, <laughs> five dollars. So over the week, if you think about it, you're spending about a weekdays, right? Five days a week, five dollars, 25 bucks. And then over the term of um, a month, you spent about 100 bucks right there, yeah? So it starts to add up, and then over the year it adds up as well. So if you really want to focus on budgeting for your travels, look at the small things first, and then start adding them up, and then start budgeting. So one thing is the coffee. The other one as well is buying lunch every single day. So that averages out to about $12, $13 a day, and it also starts to add up. The way around this is uh, what I do before traveling, for about three months I actually cut coffee out entirely because I find that actually does start to save up and when you're actually traveling you find every little dollar counts as well, especially when you're, when you're in Asia because that dollar can actually cover your cost for the bike for the whole day. With lunch, um, it costing you about $12, $13 a day, what you should actually do is uh, buying your own groceries and preparing the meal yourself and that way you save quite a bit. And the last bit as well is going out every night with your friends maybe bring that down to once or twice a week because then you actually start to save quite a bit and that's actually how you end up being financially responsible the second point is knowing where your money is going the budget like there's no tomorrow so pretty much what i do i actually have a set planner when my wages come in i have for the previous month petrol costs food costs, accommodation costs, also like utility bill as well. So what you actually find is if you've done that for the previous month, you know where your money is supposed to go automatically and you can actually figure out where you're spending the most. Now by doing this, you're more financially conscious of what you're actually spending your money on. So you're less likely to spend as much. Once you actually have an idea of where your money is going, the next part of this is actually create a dedicated travel fund example, let's say you get paid about a thousand, two thousand from your salary, totally dependent on you. You set a certain amount to go out of it automatically. So whether it's 10% or 20%, as soon as the money comes into your account, it should be automatically transferred to a different account. From the previous point, what you actually find is once you know where your money's going, let's say example, you spent a certain amount on your food and then after creating that planner, you've actually noticed that you spend quite a bit on food. So you have the amount that you spend on food. So now all of a sudden you have an extra amount that is coming into your account. With that amount, also set that up to automatically transfer to a different account. So you might find all of a sudden at the end of the year you have about $3,000 just coming from your wages and then also you have about a thousand plus from that amount you used to spend on food. So by the end of the year you have four, four and a half thousand to go on your travel expenses. So I mean this is your dedicated travel fund but you might find at the end of the year that you have other money you want to put towards it as well which is totally fine. So before traveling I've always sold unnecessary things. Items that you pretty much haven't used for over a year it's a good idea to sell them because like they say, one man's junk is another man's treasure, right? Anything unnecessary, just sell it and that can go towards your travel expenses as well. Let me know what you thought. If you have any points to add in, any tips that I've missed that other people might be interested in, just add them in the comment section below. And yeah, so I'm kind of doing weekly videos like this. And yeah, hit that sub button, give it a like if you enjoyed these little tips that I've kind of picked up. And yeah, until the next video. So yeah, love the process.